So in today's mini video guitar lesson, we're going to learn some rock. So if you're the sort of person who's an electric guitarist, and if you like bands like Rage Against the Machine, or the Foo Fighters, or Green Day, or old school stuff like Guns N' Roses, or Metallica, then this is definitely the lesson for you. You're really going to enjoy this, because we're going to learn power chords. Now, you may already know what power chords are, but I'm going to show you some other stuff, and I'm going to teach you another technique, too, called palm muting, which you're going to find really useful, and you'll realise that it'll make your playing sound a whole lot better. So power chords, just to explain quickly, are a simple chord that just consists of two notes. And what we do is move it around the guitar neck like this. And it really is as simple as that. And the other thing I want to tell you is we're going to use a rock sound today. So what I mean by that is we're going to put the distortion on our amp. Now, all amps are different. Some of them have buttons you can press, or some of you will have effects pedals, you know, so you can create a distortion like that. But we want to get this rock sound. <laughs> Now that was a little example of power chords, and you can see that I was just moving this shape around. <laughs> Alright, and, and you can create really cool stuff like that really easily. So let's get on with it, I want to explain it straight away. So if we take our first finger and put it on the sixth string at fret 7, the first finger is known as the root note, or the bass note, and what happens is we always take another finger and put it two frets higher on the next string. So, just to make that perfectly clear, this finger's on the sixth string at fret seven, this finger is on the fifth string at fret nine. So hold them down nice and tight, and with the plectrum I want you to pluck both those strings, the sixth and the fifth string. Now obviously I've got the distortion on my amp, so don't worry if you haven't got that distortion sound yet, you can worry about that another time. But what's most important at the moment is that you get these two notes. Okay, good. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is to try moving it down the neck. So what I mean by that is the first finger, the root note, is now on the sixth string at fret five. And this other finger is now on the fifth string at fret seven. Okay, and then move it down two more frets, so we got the 6th string at fret 3, and the 5th string at fret 5. Okay, so just try those three chords now. Root note at fret 7, at fret 5, and then fret 3. And then try taking it down one more fret, so you're on the 6th string at fret 2, and the 5th string at fret 4. Now, I think you get the idea by now that these notes are always two frets apart like this, and always one string apart, obviously. So from now on, um, you'll hear me mostly refer to just the root note, and I'll expect you to realise that this other finger goes, you know, on this note here. So just try that sequence once more. <laughs> Okay, good. Now, uh, another thing you can try is to pluck four times on each chord, and you'll hear that that'll make it sound a bit more interesting. Or for those of you out there that are punk rockers, you can perhaps do eight times on each chord and play it a little bit faster, like this. Okay, I think you get the idea. Good, so obviously um, you can experiment with that, you can change the number of repetitions that you pluck, and you can also um, move around to different chord shapes, and you know, start to make up your own songs, and make up your own chord sequences. Now, this other technique that I want to teach you about today is known as palm muting, and we're going to look at our right hand, and um, it's a little bit similar to the chop. If you think back earlier in the, e on, in the E course, where I taught you to strum down, up, chop, up, it's a very similar principle. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to use the palm of your hand to gently touch the strings just a little bit. And what you can do is pluck the power chord, and you can hear that it's muted the sound, it's deadened it, okay? Because if we, if we weren't touching the strings at all, it would sound like this. But if we touch them just a little bit with the flesh of, our, of, of the palm of our hand, it sounds like this. Now the trick is to have 
um, your palm just right next to the bridge, only touching the strings a tiny little bit. Because what happens if you move your hand too far along? it will just kill the notes completely and you won't hear anything so what you want to do is experiment move your hand too far along and then move it too far back and then just find a happy medium where it sounds like this okay good so I want you to apply that palm muting technique now to the the little power chord sequence that we just learned um, so plucking four times on each one it should sound like this So if I speed that up to a full, you know, punk rock speed. And you can start to get the idea now, because I was, I was strumming eight times on each one then. So I leave that up to you to have a bit of an experiment with that and see what it sounds like. And also, like I said just now, do have a go at writing your own songs. I think you're at a stage now where you can start to create your own stuff. So the good thing about power chords is you can move them all over the place, but you can also change strings. So instead of using the sixth string and the fifth string, you can use the fifth string and the fourth string, and it'll still work. Obviously, you've got to pluck um, the corresponding strings with your plectrum now. You know, pluck the fifth and fourth string. <laughs> I was actually just making that up then as I went along and you can do exactly the same it really is that simple good so I, I hope you're excited by that bear in mind what I said about the palm muting and experiment using it with and without palm muting um, go and write your own songs now move these chords around practice strumming quickly and also you know just going back to basics quickly make sure these fingers you're holding them down right next to the fret because some people start to forget and they end up moving their fingers away or accidentally having them on top of the fret and that's really no good make sure they're right next to the fret exactly where they should be so well done for making it this far in the E course and also in the meantime if you find this really easy and you want to learn other songs you know if you like um, Guns N' Roses Metallica Green Day Rage Against the Machine anything like that if you, there's loads of songs on the archive where I'll teach you a full length video guitar lesson of how to play any of those songs you want to learn so go and check it out see if there's anything that really takes your fancy and you can start to build up a repertoire of stuff you know so you can either play with a band or you can play to other people you know at a party or something so go and get on with it go and get practicing take your time be patient do it thoroughly it'll all be worth it in the end i promise you that okay i'll see you in a few days for the next segment in this course bye bye